to Dr. O Solutions. My name is Oleg Nikishin. I am a naturopathic doctor and founder of Dr. O Solutions. In this video, we will cover how to ozonate oil at home or in your clinic or in your business. Uh, but before I move forward, I would like to tell you that you always should follow OSHA regulations and requirements when you're working with ozone. Uh, it's available, documents available on our website, as well as all information available all, on all our website. It's drosolutions.com. And one more disclosure, uh, ozone uh, is not approved by FDA as a cure or therapeutic uh, uh, remedy in the United States. All right. Quite a few options for you available if you wish to ozonate oil at home. But before you do that, and we will cover it, I would like to tell you that we ozonate oil and you can purchase it from our website. So you don't need to do all of this. If you want to consume small uh, quantity, it's available in a in two ounce glass jar. It's a fully ozonated oil. It's organic olive virgin oil and we do only olive virgin oil not, nothing else because it's the most potent uh, remedy it's available in a six ounces glass jar or we do sell even in a one gallon container this is a fully ozonated oil and when it's cold it's hard it, when it gets a little bit warm it gets like a gel so you don't need to go through all that trouble if you just want to consume small uh, quantity or if you uh, some uh, businesses buy the full uh, gallon containers because they just want to repackage it and, and sell to your own customers, we don't mind. You can go on our website and purchase one gallon container. Let's go back to how we will ozonate oil at home. Now, as you can see, quite a few options available for you. If you want to ozonate partially like this is what it's for. Because as we said, we sell full ozonated oil, but you can partially ozonated oil. What is the difference? Full ozonated oil is very, very potent. Uh, it has a lot of oxidative properties and you would, and you would not consume it internally. That's why we all disclosure is for external use only. But I know, and that's what we designed for, some people want to consume ozonated, partial ozonated oil. Uh, there is quite a few research has been done on partial ozonated oil, how partial ozonated oil treats GI infections and GI deficiency and disorders. So I would not present you that research. Go ahead and search yourself. And it's a public, uh, public med. It's, it's uh, research is all over. It's not my goal right now present your research. I'm just showing you what would be available for you, how you easily can do it at home. So, as you can see, two stones available. Okay, just regular stone that connects directly to the ozone generator. And this is medical stainless steel stone. It's a, uh, as you can see, it's from medical stainless steel. Uh, and you submerge it in a, in a jar or in a can or whatever and ozonate oil for 10-15 minutes uh, or even less. If you will start doing more you will feel like ozone in, a, in your environment. So a lot of people concerned about it and as I say always follow the ocean. Now, we have this kit available for you if you do, do if you want to do it not the fast way, but the proper way. But ozonating oil requires ozone, obviously, and requires oxygen. If you do partially ozonate oil, that medical tank or industrial tank, you just make sure you use filter, will be okay for you because you will ozonate oil for about 15 minutes, even half an hour. Maybe medical tank can handle it. There is a that is quite big volume in it for 15 minutes feed. But if you want to fully ozonate oil, you will need the oxygen concentrator. Because full to ozonate oil fully, you will need many, many, many hours. Now, 
I covered the oxygen, so let me cover the what's available for you uh, as far as generator goes. So we do have medical grade generator available, that's for therapy mainly, but you can use ozonate oil with it as well. And we have specifically designed a generator for ozonating oils. So they both produce ozone, but uh, this is produced almost, uh, almost uh, 10 times more ozone than this generator. So we'll take about 10 generators of this to produce the same concentration this oil ozonating generator produces. Okay, let me show you how we will uh, ozonate oil actually at home and we'll start with a partial ozonating oil. As I said, this, this kit is available on our website and this kit connects directly to ozone generator and you will need destructor with it. So when you see, so we'll start bubbling and ozone will escape and go through destructor and all ozone will be destructed, it's quite safe. And to do it is very easy, so let me show you for instance how we will do it with the, uh, with the tank. We'll open up oxygen. As you can see, it's going, now it's going. So when a stone sits in the oil, it fills up the tube with the oil. So it needs some time to push the oil out. And we start ozone generator. So I just in serious, I connected with the inline generator, ozone, inline oxygen uh, regulator, but it's not necessarily if you use uh, uh, this regulator, it's just to show you how the, so there is a flow. And you just sit and relax for 15-20 minutes uh, and make sure you watch it, your oil as you can still start foaming. When oil fresh, it doesn't foam much. But more ozone will be absorbed in the oil and oil will start foaming. And start foaming and overflow through overflow to the destructor and will damage it. That's why this is for only partially ozonated oil or for the water, the same. You can use the same glass. Uh, it's, it's very portable, it's a glass, you don't concern about plastic. So that's how you'd ozonate um, oil partially. And as I said, this is good with the tank. Okay, let me shut it down. So how we uh, ozonate uh, oil fully? Okay, let me disconnect this and I'll show you how we connect uh, oil ozonation kit. Okay, another option for you is oil ozonation kit in a half gallon container. This is mason jars. We do not supply mason jars. It's available, uh, it's available on any grocery store or any uh, even hardware store available for you. Uh, so we supply uh, everything but mason jars. So for the, if I want to full ozonate oil, it will take number one a lot of oxygen, so I cannot use my tank. So I'll take the, take the tank away. I will need an oxygen concentrator for that. Be as I said, because it takes many, many hours to ozonate oil fully. So let me connect you to that. And if you want to fully ozonate oil, this oxygen, this is medical grade generator will not handle it uh, for a short period of time. And what I'm trying to say to you is it will take maybe three or four times more to ozonate with medical than to ozonate with a food grade oil ozonator. That let me switch, then you will, you will see uh, the functions are the same, the spirit is generated but making making ozone, that's all. But they, this is makes ozone, ozone in a high concentration. Uh, 
So the concentration, uh, let me show you. This is a chart, concentration chart for this generator. So this is, this is in gamma and this is production per hour. So we name it 1.5 grams per hour, but actually as you can see in one liter per minute, it produces almost two grams ozone per hour. It's quite high concentration as you can see, so 50 gram on a half liter per minute. So it's a quite high concentration and that's what we want when we want to ozonate oil. We want as high concentration as possible. Uh, so let me connect my generator to the power source. I'll connect my feed to it. Uh, and I can connect my ozone output to my ozone kit, uh, oil ozonation kit. Now let me show you a few things in oil ozonation kits. Why we redesign our oil and water kit and make this specific kit. Uh, number one, uh, when oil will start forming and the all oils will during ozonation period will start forming, you're gonna form, start shooting over and overflow, hit this, this collection jar and then from collection jar in the structure. And this tube will, will get sticky and get 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 with the oil ozonate or oil oil ozonated oil and oil ozonated will be hard. So that tube is gonna if we use small tube is gonna get blocked. That's why as you can see this is a large tube. This is a main redesign. And let me start ozonating my oil. I'll start with my oxygen concentrator. As you can see the flow. What you will use, uh, you will need low flow regulator because most of oxygen concentrators cannot produce low flow. That's not the purpose of oxygen concentrator because oxygen concentrator is designed for breathing. And for breathing you probably need at least one liter per minute. But one liter per minute, as you can see, uh, produces less, uh, less gamma than uh, produces a half a liter per minute, even though concentration is different per hour. But we're interested in the flow, not in production per hour. So we're going to get compromise between the flow and the concentration. If we, for instance, get too high, you see it's going to start overflowing very quickly. So the, let me start generator. And you can see it start forming very quickly. If you if if flow it's is very high, you're gonna you're gonna shoot all that oil in overflow. I don't want to do that. That's why I know from my experience, I love to have it with this equipment and this setup. I would like to have it about half a liter per minute. So let me show you how it. Let me I'll explain you how it works. So oxygen produced goes through. Inline regulator, inline regulator, we suppress the flow for the high concentration with the, with the proper flow as well. We can put even less, even quarter liter per minute, but that's we already compromising too much. Again, so we try to do optimal. Every device, as far as ozone, ozone generators, uh, they always compromise between the flow and production of concentration. So. For this particular device, I would like to keep it about half a liter. So as you see, my oil will start foaming and will start ozonating. So how do you uh, reduce foaming? Very simple. I always recommend you cool oil out so the oil has to stay uh, about 10 degrees Celsius or uh, maybe I would say maybe about 50 not more than 55 uh, degrees of Fahrenheit so when you cool oil down it's not gonna foam that much so now is the summer and we have very hot summer uh, this year right now the temperature 
we have in, in our factory, it's about 28 degrees Celsius. It's quite hot here. So that's why you have so much foam. If I cool that oil, the foam is going to go down. That, that's what you want. How you do that? Well, very easy. You just cool the oil out or you put ice pack something in it just in order to just, just make sure so the oil stays, stays, stays cool and it's not going to foam that much. And that's about it. It's, so, it, 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 it. it's as simple as this. And you keep it for hours and hours and hours going till you get fully ozonated oil. Uh, so, one more hint for you. When you start ozonating oil, do not stop it. Why? Because the, if you stop it, highest ozone concentration is in the stone. When you still have flow, then ozonated oil will hit back in the stone, back in the tube. And you're going to have tubes and oil, a stone blockage. So you need to unblock it, which could be quite messy and, and inconvenient. So that's why I recommend when you start ozonating process of your oil, so just keep going till you're satisfied. So, Second hint for you, how do you know if the oil ozonated fully or not? Okay. For instance, if I will show you, this is fully ozonated oil. Full ozonated oil is pure white, even though this is a virgin oil. It's olive virgin oil, but as you can see, it's hard. Oh, because it's cold as well, and it's, it's white. So when oil is, is not cold, but you're not going to might have it hard, but it will be like a gel substance and it will be pure white oil. So when you have pure white oil, that means it's probably fully ozonated as well. I don't want to go to testing oils, it's a whole another subject and quite complex. I'm just trying to present you something that you can go by and do it at home without spending way too much money for the whole setup. Um, so I think that's, that's, that, that's it, folks. Um, if you have any questions, please uh, give us, uh, you can give us your thumbs up or you can, uh, what you can do, uh, you can post your questions on uh, our Ozone Bio Research Group on the Facebook. Currently, there is more than 1,000 members on the Facebook. This is our group, Dr. O Solutions Group, Ozone Bio Research, and now it calls Biofield Research Group. So you always can ask the question there. You can ask the questions in comments down below this video, or you can contact us. And please engage. <laughs>